We're here at Matley Basin for round two of the MXGP. It all kicks off tomorrow, so let's go and take a look at the track. What makes Matley so special and unique is the start. It's a traditional BMX start. Starting off, obviously now you know that the grid's been introduced now for two years. Yes, that is a little, that is special, that is unique. The skill involved to keeping the front end low and keeping the power and the drive going down the ramp to get the old shot. And the old shot is, for you who don't know, is that first around the turn. So the start is crucial. The Matley Basin provides some mega jumps. Look at this, this is the quad, the famous quad, Matley quad. This one, they're, they're landing off the tabletop there, coming down the hill, hooking gears, coming to the top of the jump, stretching it out, stretching for it. So we're here with Max Ancy. Look at that. Was, was you stretching it out over the quad then? Yeah. It was a little bit yeah, like that. Was it. Was a little bit, yeah. <laughs> but um, so yeah, obviously double race winner, Mark Cross the Nations. Yeah. Like the track? I do. You know, it's uh, it's nice to be back here. It's it's always nice to come back home, and I'm at a really good place with the bike and the team, and I'm really happy. But you know, you're not you're not like ten rounds in where where you're all kind of in your groove and settled down. So I think we're in a good place, and and I enjoy being back here, seeing all the people that I know, seeing all the familiar faces, and you know, we're going putting a good show for everyone. Can you believe it? March and they're watering the track. There was a lot of criticism coming into this round whether it should actually be the second round, and the good old British weather has done us proud. Just look at it. Well, if you ride motorbikes, let's be honest, you are a dirt expert. A soil sampler. You like to feel the grain. You like to, you like to mm, smell it, squish it, feel the moisture within that ground. Look at the man himself. Come on, in, tell us about the track this weekend. How's it going to develop? Uh, should be ratty and bumpy, hopefully. If we get a little bit of water on it, which we are now. Um, we're going to leave it quite rough ripped and not power harrow if we think they're like clumpier bits with this time of year with a bit of grass in it. Should, uh, so it'll bind, so it'll bind together. So you kind of roll it, it, pack it, roll it, rip it, roll it, pack it, roll it, rip it, water it, pack it, roll it, rip it. Literally, I was after Argentina, we did two weeks of riding in Belgium and it was so wet. We couldn't ride, like literally it was underwater everywhere. I came back here and it was dusty. And I was like, ah, yeah, perfect, it's England. <laughs> so um, tell us about your weekend. What's it consist of? What's um, what's happening? A lot of drinking. Yep. A lot of motocross. Yeah. A lot of money going on. Who's your man? Who's your money on? I'm just saying that. Come on, come on. Come on, yeah, Anstey, you want to repeat? You want a 1-1? One, one? It's got to be done, it. Yeah. If you used to it, you've got to get down and dirty. Just go for the UK podium. You want Anstey on there, don't we? Yeah. It, yeah, and Tommy, who's winning the uh, who's winning the drinking championship? All day long, mate. <laughs> All day long. You know that. You know that. Are you not looking forward to the two strokes and smelling the premix? <laughs> yeah. You know that, mate. You know that. That's it. That is the field of dreams. Look at it. That is why that Matley Basin in the UK is one of the best tracks on the calendar. Just look at it. Breathtaking. Absolutely prime. Day one at Matley, we're just about to walk into the pit lane, have a look, see what the times are, have a chat with a few people, see if we can get some riders. So British riders at the moment, Josh Gilbert leads the way. There's still 22 minutes to go, but he's gone out and put a lap time in. He is currently nine hundredths of a second quicker. You, you had the speed, you was moving forward in the races. Um, one of the only guys to do that on this track where it's, it is a real fast track, so you do need to be out the gate. Yeah, I think another, also another thing is that I may have put a bit too much pressure on me. I feel like I need to go in there and show what I can do straight away and kind of, I was a little bit, like I said, eager. And So what's your job title within the team? Oh, mate, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Can't do that. No, <laughs> no, just not like that. Just not throw it at you. Just like, what, it's a top secret? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yes, I arrived yesterday. I came on uh, on a Harley Davidson yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah and the, the maps took me off here to the side of the camping field. So I uh, actually ended up driving the Harley through the fields, through the gates, and uh, ended up up here. Bumped into the field based crew, Thorpe and, uh, and the boys. And they said, oh, you know what you're doing here, Nicky boy? I said, well, I've just come to see what's going on. He said, right, quick, get in the Honda kit. So I put the Honda kit on straight away. 
and then off we went to watch uh, the qualifying. Mark Deruva. Yes. Natalie. Yes. Brilliant. Weather's okay, eh? Super, eh? Yeah, it's good. And uh, how's, how's your man feeling? How's your guy? Ah, uh, yeah, we have Rowan for the most like in the EMX. Yep. Uh, it's going really well. Uh, Adam, of course, Sterry. That's uh, what we want to know about. I mean, we know. What do you want to know? We just want to know how he's feeling, what you know. Nah, uh, you've been working. You've been working a lot with him in the uh, in the winter. Uh, the thing is with with uh, with Adam, he's gonna be good. He's gonna get better and better and better because yeah. Rowan. Uh, if I, I mean Adam, how we say we say we have a really big motor. Yeah. He have really big engine, and and you will see the the further the the year will uh, continue, you will get better and better. Always special to me since I was a kid. I've been here watching and uh, yeah. It, it's become a dream to race here and now it's just a normal thing for me but every time I come here I get excited and yeah podium I always aim for the podium um, yeah it's possible I've shown speed in Argentina I've shown it in Hawkstone uh, two good starts and I think yeah it's easy possible to get a podium Abby! First place is come on Anders! Anderson's third! Brad, how did that feel? That feels good. Everything feels good when you're obviously on top of your home GP. You've got to be buzzing. Come on, a little bit more yeah. than that. You come across the finish line, fist pumping. Yeah, I was I had a little because um, I was unsure at one point that we were going to obviously start this meeting. But yep. um, yeah, little, got a little tea to me. I would. Um, I, I feel pumped. Yeah, for everyone involved. Really yeah, team, no, it's good. You know? it, it was really good to watch. Obviously, uh, you pleased Big Phil as well. That's an odd task. <laughs> he was happy. Not bad for an old dog, eh? That wasn't. That was Ninth good. That was first. That was. That was impressive, and it was good to watch. Nice to see him back. Good evening. It's not an holiday. Could I have a big white then? Don't have a GP in March, they said. Do you, you boys ride? I take it. No. Just fans? All right, so you just start just it. That explains them well, he's dead. Yeah, mate, I don't mind. Great moment, Matt Lee. Oh. Bit different this side of the fence. Oh, um, yeah, do you know what? I'm actually really enjoying it so far. You know, it's cool still hearing you supporting um, your Roger and the team. And I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's cool to be this side of the fence where there's no pressure. I can come and enjoy the racing, I might even have a beer tonight, just you know, relax, but um, no, it's cool, the sun's shining, you know, I think before this event everyone was like, oh, the weather this time of year, but I think Steve Dixon's got it pretty lucky and uh, yeah, it's all good. Spot on, isn't it, the weather? It's an ideal. How did the day go for you? Yeah, no, it's been cool, like, yeah, when it comes to racing and the first bike's gone on the track, then you know, like, things are rolling so yeah you stop worrying and you know the little things go in the background and it's just like yeah everyone's enjoying themselves and concentrate on the track and you know it's been good but i mean i think we've done a good job with the arena we've sort of fenced it right in and gave it more of a sort of compact feel and the cost is sort of cheaper at running now i mean you know like the price of one meter of fencing in the summer is 15 pounds now it's like nine so yeah, that's getting on for a sort of 40% saving. Yeah. This yeah, is what makes Matley great. Just look, we are, you can see from anywhere. I reckon we've spotted a fan, RV, look. I reckon we've got a fan down over there, look. All right, boys. How are we doing? You all right? You all right? All right. So you watched all the racing. What do you reckon so far? Yeah. Good, good days, Brad. Got to come back to the smoke though, can not you? That was good racing there, wasn't it, Brad? Yeah. And now Kelly up there and all. Kelly was doing it. He looked real good, didn't he? Jamie Law. He was good. Is this the? This is the position for the day, is it? No, we have a little move about. Tomorrow might be one position. Fair enough. Still one of the coolest hospitality units in the paddock. Look at it, awesome. Dude. Tommy, Saturday, day one. What do you think to the track and the conditions? Yeah, just looking now, it looks perfect. I think we've been really lucky with the weather, obviously at this time of year, it looks great. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get out and get amongst it now. We're all rooting for you. Up, up. Thank you very much.
Roger Harvey. Uh, Roger Harvey. Uh, no, nice, right. nice to see you. <laughs> so, Matley, this time of the year, how good is it? No. Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, it right. went cold about an hour ago, yeah. an hour and a half ago. It dropped about four to five degrees, as it's back up, sun's out. Tracks. What more can we ask for? Tracks prime. Mega. They watered it like hell yesterday. Tim's going good. Tim had a good one this morning, yeah, and it's just like keeping your head on and, and you know, trying to stay on it. And um, Yeah, he, he's good, you know, he's got a good frame of mind, he's in a happy frame of mind. Yeah. Um, and when we've got a happy Tim, you know, we've got a good Tim, we've got a fat, we can back to 216. See, it's looking a little bit slim now. But a minute ago, that. It's like they're all pulling the ticket. Pulling the ticket. Yeah, about three years ago and three or four years prior to that, I always rode MX1. So my goal this weekend would just be to get some points. So that would be top 20 in both races. Uh, wherever that leaves me overall, I'd be quite happy with that. MX1 are out now. Unfortunately, we lost Tommy Sell on the first lap. Today's race has been pretty epic. MX2, British boys have done us proud. We're, we're pretty certain that this track's gonna change a little bit, that the guys are gonna get out and, uh, and probably rip it a little bit deeper and, and you know, work the faces, and it's gonna be a fresh new track for tomorrow, and it's certainly gonna be an exciting one to watch, that's for sure. Day two at Matley's been awesome. Just traveling in, coming in on the road, seeing all the cars stacking up in, you know, queuing to get into the place. Uh, this morning was also, oh, it's electric. Give me goose pimples. Listening to the national anthem, Brad Anderson took the win for us, done us proud, it was brilliant. As you can see, the place is getting busy. It's gonna be stacked. And today is definitely gonna be a day to be remembered. Proud of <laughs> So comrade, tell us how day, uh, day one went. Uh, yeah, it was good, you know, we had, uh, we had a solid day yesterday, we finished third in time practice. Um, and it was overall, I think, the, the speed and everything was there. The track, been left in certain sections, the, the ruts are pretty deep, so, you know, it's creating and, and it's carving up in a different way than what it was yesterday, so, do you think that will play into your favour a little bit more? Yeah, because this morning the track is a little bit more wet. They yeah. put a little bit of water on and, and ripped it in places and then left it in places. So I feel like, yeah, it's going to be more technical today, which uh, should play in my favour. But like I said, it's all about that start. So I'm really focused on that. And uh, I think, you know, once I get out on the track, my riding will, will be good. The, the boys are just heading out now, MX2. First race, Sturry. Sturry? Sturry for the whole shot. Yeah. Lead it for three laps. And then... You reckon? Ben, ben, ben. Ben, ben will get the lead. Three quarters of the race and fight to the finish. Fair flag events against number 19. Who's 19? Go on, ben, I reckon. Go on, ben, go on, ben, go on, ben. So I see you've got the factory limited edition Husqvarna 450. Yeah. Uh, how'd you rate that? That is a rocky ship. That's all right. the, the, the icing on the cake was apparently when you buy them, you get the uh, CDI box registered or activated. Yeah. And I was asked if I wanted standard, advanced, or rockstar. Yeah. And I said, load it right up, full rockstar. And now I'm just hanging at the back of it like wet washing, really. So, yeah, that's yeah, no, mega. Black gate, green gate. You know the difference? Oh well, I should imagine that the green's the green has probably got a gloss to it, has it? Yeah. And the black is is a, is a matte, so it is grip. Yeah. You see, you get oh look grip. at that! I'm, are you going on the black gate? Yeah. Well, I, no, I was on the green gate. Right. Well, the black gate gets more traction. I think he's talking waffle again. <laughs> <laughs> MX2 race two is about to start. Before we come up here, capture the atmosphere. First race was pretty epic. Hopefully Adam Sterry can have a little bit of more luck, stay on. Same with Ben Watson and Conrad News. Hopefully he can push it all the way through to the last lap. Yeah, you know, it was, um, it was a very frustrating weekend for us. Um, but on the plus side, obviously, there's a lot of positives. Um, yeah, you know, it's um, obviously I'm, I'm in fantastic shape. I'm feeling great, and it was uh, it was difficult again. Like I said, I didn't show my full potential this weekend, but um, there was glimpses of it every now and then. But um, no, I'm going to keep fighting, and, and I'm going to I'm going to carry on showing my potential, and then hopefully we can we can 
yeah, hope for that podium. 2019 Matley Basin, British GP. What a GP this has been. The second round has been absolutely epic. Battles throughout the field, you know, British lads as well. Some of them are, you know, unfortunate luck, but I'm sure this is going to be a real good year for the British riders. We just watched an awesome race. The MX1 race was just absolutely awesome. Tim Guys is back on form. He's pushing hard, he's pushing Tony. He got up it in the first race and, uh, and obviously and finished third. In the second race, he, he actually won it. But Tony, you know, Tony made that race just by, uh, just by showing him that he can still come back and still push. And awesome to watch, awesome. Top three, Tony Cairoli. Tim Geiser and Gutierrez Paulam. MX2 race, well, there's a lot to be said about the MX2 race. Uh, basically, you know, we feel that the Britons were a little hard done by in that race. Just, uh, just a, a little bit of misfortune by some, showing real good pace and determination and, and, and will to win, you know, and really wanted to put on a good show for the fans. The top three in that class was Thomas Holson, Henry Jacobi, Tom Vial. For all the latest updates and race results, head over to my Head app or to the website.